friends, it's Mrs. Howe again. I'm glad that you've joined me for today's art video. Uh, I hope you've had fun drawing along with me in all the other videos we've done. Today I had a request, somebody wanted to learn how to draw an owl. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to draw an owl. You can follow along with me and do what I do or make your own owl. Or as always, if you don't wanna draw an owl, just draw what you want to draw as long as you're having fun and drawing along with me. Okay friends, so just like in my other videos, I'm using a black marker. You can use crayons, marker, pencil, whatever you have. I have a sheet of paper and I have another sheet of paper underneath if you're using a marker, just so the marker doesn't go through onto your table. So to draw an owl, the first thing I'm gonna do, owls have really big eyes. That's kind of what they're known for, a big eye and their head is bigger than their body. So let's make a circle here, this will be one eye, make a circle, and then over here we're going to make one more circle, about the same size. Okay, and we want there to be a shine in his eye where the light hits the eye, so I'm going to make a little circle here, and a smaller circle in the bottom. Same thing on this side. A little circle here and a smaller circle on the bottom. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to color in this part all black and I'm going to leave those little circles white. That's where the light's hitting it, so that's the shiny part. You guys, I've been making so many art videos, my ink is running out of my marker. I'm gonna have to get some more markers. Okay, so we're gonna fill that in. Same thing on this side, fill this side in. Everything but the little circles, leave them white. Now we have two eyes. Now my owl is gonna have kind of like lashes coming off of his eyes. So I'm gonna make like a little line like that and come back down. Kind of a, a V shape, but it's upside down. And then I'm gonna color it in. Isn't that cute? So let's make another one on this side. So we're gonna go out Come back in, almost like a wing. There you go. Now we have two eyes for our owl. Okay, now I'm going to draw an outline around my owl's eyes. So I'm gonna kind of make two dots in the middle. I'm gonna go around the eye and meet this dot. Start at this dot and meet this dot. A big circle, ready? All the way around. Come back to the middle. Same thing on the other side. Go all the way around. If you have to stop for a second, that's okay. Sometimes it's hard to judge how big to make that circle, isn't it? And you can start at the middle and go out too. There you go. And I kind of got it a little bit lopsided, that's okay. Nobody's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put a beak in the middle. This is gonna be like a, sort of like a U shape. Like this. Okay. Now, let's make the side of the owl's face. So over here we're gonna go around like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Start above the lash and come around, just like that. And then owls have that little tuft of feathers coming off the their side of their head. So kind of like how we did this little part on the eye, we're gonna do the same shape right here. So we're gonna go out and back. Same thing over here. We're gonna go out and back. Okay, 
Then we're going to follow the shape of the eye, come to the middle, and then go to the other side. Now we have a head for the owl. Okay, then we're going to make some wings. So the wings are going to come from behind the head, and it's going to be that U shape again. We're going to start right about here, come around, and back up. There's one wing. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Come down like a U, back up. There's another wing. Now, owls have four toes. They have three toes in the front and one in the back, kind of like how we have a thumb, and that's how they grab onto the branch. Right here, one, two, three, and then three toes right here. One, two, three. Now when we make the belly, we're gonna start under the wing, come down to the toes, pretend the line goes through the toes, goes in between, pretend it goes through these toes, and back over to the other wing. So let's give his wings some feathers. This is gonna be like a, a cloud line. So we're gonna do some little wavy lines like this. And as you get closer to the bottom of the wing, you're gonna have less lines. See how I, my line was longer, it got shorter and then shorter again. Same thing on this side. We're gonna go bumpy wavy lines. Another one a little bit shorter, and the bottom one is a little bit shorter again. Now I'm going to put some lines on the owl's belly for feathers. So same thing again. Let's do some bumpy lines. Now these lines are probably going to get a little bit longer as we go down the owl's belly. So this is the opposite. Started shorter, got bigger as it got to the bottom. Then we're going to do the top of the owl's head. So we're going to start here and just kind of do a little rainbow line across the top. Now we have an owl that we can color. So I'm going to color mine. You can pause the video if you want and give yours some color. And your owl can be any color you want it to be. If you want a rainbow owl, use every crayon in your box. Or you can just do a brown owl or a gray owl. That's the color most owls are. Okay friends, you can see now that I've colored my owl. And I decided to make my owl blue and green and orange. So I hope you had fun drawing with me today. See you next time.